The following episode of Dad vs. Daughter was made possible by a contribution from Bezier Games. Hello and welcome to another episode of Dad vs. Daughter. I'm Tim the Dad. And Megan the Daughter. And today we're going back to a classic. It's a new classic. Yes. Because Bezier is all about the new classic now. Oh, okay. So we are playing the new silver, but this is... Silver coin. Yeah, so this has got a really cool, hefty coin yeah. to it. Uh, of course, it's still werewolf themed. Mm -hmm. um, now... If you have not played Silver before, you're probably going to want to go back and watch our previous video where we played uh, Silver, the base game, and Silver Bullet, yes. uh, because we're not going to really cover the a lot of the gameplay stuff. We're going to talk about it a little bit, but uh, it's really going to be, you know, seeing if Dad's memory can hold out. Yeah. So let's see if it does and check it out. Okay. Welcome to Silver Coin. And I know in our unboxing, I kind of had this a little wonky, but you can see the uh, werewolf face there. It's the head. And the head, and then you've got his tail. tail it took here, me like, like a whole half a game to realize that's what it was. The, the backside there. But yeah, this is a really cool looking coin. It's really cool, yeah. You see that there. Um, so what makes this different? Well, we have all new cards and new abilities. Yep. And the main thing with this one is, this relies a lot on face-up cards mm -hmm. and doing things when cards are face-up. You get extra turns or you get uh, kill cards. It's actually really kind of cool. Well, you assassinate them. Yeah. But let's talk about the cards. But this is like the cutest card, though, in the whole deck. Yeah, you've He's got... He's a puppy. you got this nice little puppy there. He's a little regifter. He's going to bring you a little silver card at the end of the game. Yeah, basically, if this card is face-up uh, in your tableau, okay. you are going to be able to re-gift a card in your tableau to someone else so it gives them extra points but would you turn that cute little puppy down he just won't give you a little card he is he's a little he's dalmatian so too all right so that he is the zero card then we have the bowler hat man as megan likes to call him he's the number one yep uh when he is face up you're going to turn this card face down and then you're going to take another turn so that's actually been really cool. It's really nice. It pairs really well with um, card number three, which we'll talk to in a second. Yeah. All right. Then we have the curator. And when he is face up, you're going to be able to uh, rotate one of your cards 90 degrees. Or if you already have a card that's rotated 90 degrees, you're going to be able to discard that. So it's a, a way to get rid of cards out of your village. All right. So then here is number three. We have the pixie. So when the pixie, um, when the pixie's face up, you're going to turn this card face down, and then you're going to turn over one other card. So you can turn over that one if you have it in your village, and then just have an extra turn. Yep. Oops. Next we have the blob. So the blob says when it's face up, you're going to use the discard ability of the top card of the discard pile as your turn. So instead of actually drawing a card, you're going to be able to uh, use something that's already there. So we have the apprentice tanner. And uh, you're going to put this card face up in your village. Then you're going to turn over one other card. So you notice he's got a discard ability. So you're not actually discarding him. You're putting him in your village. Next we have the Huntress. She reminds me of Merida. A little bit, but she doesn't have the really cool hair. Well, it does look like she's kind of a ginger, but though. It's not, you know, needs a whole new animation system to make the hair. Well, that's okay. <laughs> uh, her, her discard ability is you get to turn one card face down. And then you can turn one other card face up. However, so that's in any village. It is in any village, but there has to be at least one face up card yep. for you to be able to do that. Otherwise, you can't take her so ability. So if someone has a curator, you want to yeah. turn that back over. Uh, next, we have Nostro. Uh, his discard ability is view all the cards in one village. So any it village. could be yours, could be anybody else's. Yep. He looks like a witcher. But we have a coin. You can toss your coin to your witcher. Yeah. Next, we have the assassin. Uh, her discard ability is discard one face-up card to the bottom of the discard pile. Yours or anybody's. Yep. So you could actually end the game Take with no cards people. in your village. Yeah. It's possible. Next we have the Psychic. She's getting her chill on at the beach. Yeah. Uh, discard ability is view any three cards. Again, your village, anybody's village. Mm -hmm. Now we have Nosferatu. Uh, he's, kind of a, he's kind of a mean card. He's an interesting and he, card. And he looks mean. Yeah. 
you get to view the top three cards of the discard pile and you can either take that card or use its discard ability of any one of those. So we've used this one quite a, a bit lot. to do some nasty things to yep. each other. Next we have the Golem. 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 It's a Golem. Uh, you get to exchange the top card of the discard pile with one village card. Mm -hmm. Place the village card on the bottom of the discard pile. This is We've used this a lot to get rid of that uh, the number two card, the curator. Today we have the village idiot, which is a cool looking he thing. Means like, well. Did you even see his belly? He's got a little fairy companion. Mm -hmm. He's just chilling. His little, his little belly He's popping out there. He's having a good there. time. Uh, you get to move one card from each village to its neighbor and all in the same direction. Yeah. So you can either go clockwise or counterclockwise. For Here's us, the it kicker <laughs> you get to pick which cards get moved. Yep. Uh, when you use this ability. So um, we've only played this with two players, so it's just basically swapping back and forth. Mm -hmm. But in uh, three or four players, this could really uh, hose up forward. everybody. Yeah. So uh, that's going to be, I think, a lot of people's favorite card. Mm -hmm. And then finally, it's, you know, werewolf theme. So we have the Wolfman. Megan just clapped for the Wolfman. I don't get it, but I did it. You're going to rank your records high. Okay. Uh, again, if you don't know that reference, please look it up based on Wolfman Jack. The old... Uh, like he's dead now. Uh, this jockey from like the 60s and 70s. Yeah, way before my time. But <laughs> he's pretty cool because it says when he is face up at the scoring, uh, if the sum of all your other cards is less than thir 13, you're going to score zero points. So the zero and the 13, since they have uh, basically special scoring, whenever you flip over your cards and you're trying to determine. Um, what your score is, you're actually going to move those two cards or those uh, numbered cards away from your village and then you're going to do those actions. So this is a way that if you get caught uh, and you didn't call for the vote, um, but you have less than 13 and you have him face up, it could actually save you points. So that is all the cards. We've showed you the coin. So the gameplay is the same as all the other silver cards. So we're just going to shuffle up and get ready to play. Now, because this is a two-player game, we have already removed 10 cards out because the rules say that basically you deal out cards for four players and you take those cards out. Mm -hmm. So, uh, yeah, Megan's going to go first because yeah. yeah. she always does. But we can always get to look at two any two cards in our village. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm gonna use that ability to view all the cards in one village. So I'm just gonna go ahead and peek at what I got here. Okay. So like I said, the rules are all the same as the other silver. So um, what? kind of talk through basically the basics as we go. Whenever you take a card, you always maintain its state. Mm -hmm. So if I take a card off at the top and replace it with one card in my village, it's gonna stay face down. And I've already forgotten what that card is. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna use the golem, oh, golem. golem. Exchange the top card of the discard pile with one village card. So, and we're just going to exchange it with that. That's, That's okay. going to go on the bottom. It's fine. Give Megan a 12-pointer. It's what I had there in the first place, so it's kind of funny. Was it? Yeah, it was. Oh, when you yeah. switched out? Yep. I'm going to get rid of it, though. All right. Um... Ah! I hate when I do the blind stuff. I yeah, you totally forget. When face up, turn this card face down and turn another one over. So I'm turning my curator. So when face up, rotate one of your cards 90 degrees or discard a 90 degree load. So we're just going to tap that one. It's a way to kill the cards. It is. Kill the lad. Um, cool. View all the cards in a village because I totally forgot what I had. <laughs> Sucks. Okay. So I'm going to do you and I get three cards. I'm going to view my own and discard that. 
Yeah, because you can use the curator mm -hmm. on any part of your turn. And the nice thing about that is you could actually get rid of a card yep. and, and then start your turn it. and take that card back. Yeah. And because I said that, I've forgotten what my cards are. <laughs> That's why I like playing this against um, you. You can't call for a vote until no. you're down to four. And I didn't actually mention that. Um, on your turn, you're literally, you're going to draw a card, and you're either going to, off the top of the deck, mm -hmm. and you're going to either replace it, one of the cards in your village, or you're going to use it for its discard po yep. uh, ability. You're going to take a card here uh, off the discard pile, and you don't exchange get the ability, the but you get the exchange from your, um, yep. your village. Or you get to call for a vote. Mm -hmm. So... Um, I will take that one. I think I'm doing. Yeah, there we go. So now that I have the con artist, uh, I get to flip this down and take another card mm -hmm. or take another turn. Take another turn. And I, like I said, I totally forgot what I had here. Mm. Um, hmm. Oh, what do you have? What do you have? What do you have? What do you have? <gasps> Yay! Take that, and then discard that, and then when face up, turn this card face down, and then take an additional turn. Yeah. Boat. Man, that hurt. Hmm. What you got? Well... Unfortunately, Puppy. nothing I can. Oh, oh. I have two threes. That's not terrible. So Megan will get zero points because and the coin the because coin. she called for the vote and has less points than me. She has yep. three. I have six, seven, eight, nine total. Yep. So we're going to take all the cards and we'll shuffle them up. And we're only going to be playing four rounds. So, all right. So we're ready to start the second hand. Um, Megan has the coin because she went out. She gets to go first. Yep. I totally forgot what my other coins are. <laughs> or my coins, my cards. Um, Today is not your day for this game. No, you know what? I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to take that wolf man because I have no idea him. what that card is. All right. Yeah, Clapping for the wolf man. All right, put this card in your village and then turn it over on one other card. Alrighty. Oh, you... That should be face down. No, I took it. It was face up. Oh, you did take it? Yeah, that was the first card here. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah. So then you, you need to when do the face ability. Up, turn the card face down, turn over another card. You're yeah. right. I'm, yep, I should have done that. What's this? What's that? Okay. What's this? What's this? Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Um. So yeah. whenever you have multiple cards, you can basically turn oh, over know. all of them and replace it with the card you, you've taken. Now, mm -hmm. let's just say that Megan was incorrect and they didn't match. Yeah, she would actually have to keep them and the card that she took. Sucks. <laughs> yeah. That's hot. Uh, right. I'm going to view any three cards because I keep forgetting what you I do. have. Um, when face up, use the ability of the top card in the discard pile as your turn. So this says turn one card face down and then turn another card face up. Okie dokie. Um, I'm going to give you the wolf man. Oh, all right. 
And then I get to do this, which I will tap. Yeah. And just Vote. Oh, okay. Um, Did you already use the coin? I have not used my coin. Thank you. I have a coin. Um, uh, what do I have though? <laughs> um, flip that one. So turn this card face down and then turn another one face over. So then when that one's face down, turn another card face over. So that was just my coin. So I still get to go. Oh. And instead of drawing, she could have used her blob ability to I use the ability of that, of the golem. Yeah. Um, I'm going to discard one face up card and put it on the bottom. And just get rid of that so I don't have as many points. Right, what do you have? So we're gonna move that guy there. And oh, yeah. Because this it. is less than 13, I score zero points. Yeah, I get eight. So you have eight. So the eight. coin will actually come to me. Yeah, that's pretty good. So I was hoping I would have a low card to swap out those uh, pixies. I did not. So you're up first. All right. Uh, round three. Um, I use that to look at my cards. That's nice. Um, I'm gonna use that and look at all mine, so that's fine. Like Bubba. Oh, nice. Um, I'm gonna assassinate. No, uh, no I'm not because it's a face up. Yep. Crud. Uh, I showed you what the card was. Yep. So that's okay. <laughs> I'm just gonna do that. Top three cards. I'm going to use the ability of the Huntress and I'm going to flip that face down. And flip that face down and turn another flipping one. Flipping that face up. Because oh. I totally forgot what it was. That's fair. Need a werewolf. The wolf lead. Do 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 do. See what that it card says is. you keep it face down. Does it? Yes, really? it does. It says if the card is face down, no one sees what that card is. Oh. And I think I know what it is, so. Okay. If I remember correctly.
It seems to make me turn that yeah. down. Yeah, I'm going to do that. I'm going to use the Huntress ability. I'm going to flip that card, and yep. I'm going to flip this card. Let's get another turn. Which will make, allow me to get another turn. Um, so I'm going to do that. Get rid of that. Okay. And that's it. Should have done something else. Okay, that's okay. I'm forgetting things. So I'm going to do this, and then I'm going to flip the coin, yeah, let's flip do that, that let's which turn. gives me another turn by flipping that face down, doing yeah. that. Um, let's do that. You wouldn't think remembering just a few simple cards. Which turn this card face down, turn another over for that. I can't. Uh, you can do that. Turn oh, this you're... card face down, turn another one over. Can I do it in any village? What does it say? Um, checking. In any village, yeah. So turn this card face down, turn another one face up. Let's go. Thank you. So, um... But that, that, that won't... So I'll do that here in a second. Ugh, man. That sucks. Here we go. Um, Assassin. Yeah, I'm going to use Nosferatu to use the Assassin's ability, and I'm going to assassinate that card. And then I'm going to use this no. to do another turn. turn. Um, you know what? I'm just going to call for a vote. One last point. What you got? Dang I have it. Two. Seven. So I'll get zero points and Megan will get seven points. What was this if I would have? Oh, I should have done that, taken it. The card. I was curious. Maybe zapped was, oh, it was a puppy? It was a puppy. Oh. Oh, that's three to you. Should have done this. Yeah. Uh, flip over one other card. Oh, oh, flip over that card. Okay. No, I shouldn't get two twos. Uh, you, I need three cards. Good. Good. Um, Three cards, let's see. That was that, that was that, <laughs> and that was that. Okay, got it. Good. Nope. Oh. Why'd you flip that over? Because I thought they were all yeah. my threes. No. I forgot about that one. So, so they these all stay get, up, don't they? They all stay up in this card. Yeah, so just keep them up. Don't turn no, them back No, 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 no. They all go face down. Sorry. Oh. And then I do that. Jeez. Yeah, that's right. Memory is fundamental. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's something, that's for sure. Um... Okay, now let's try this again. I'm going to take that. Let's try these three. There you go. There we go. Nice. Okay. Take this. One face up, turn this card face over, turn that card face up.
sure. Ooh. Yep. Nice. Take that. So, take that. Hang on. So this is well. Actually, I'm. I, I will do this. I'll that okay. Go. So now you're voting. I'm voting, so you can discard that. Card. So I will discard that. Mm -hmm. And draw, and I will view all the cards in a village. What you got? I have zero. No! <laughs> so, because Megan called for a vote and did not have the least amount, she gets 10 added to her score, so she got oh. 11, and I will get zero. You're so confident, but then you give me that smirk, I'm like, you have a dog. So, that is the end of the game, oh. so let's go ahead and award the silver trophy. Well, you can see Megan did not come out ahead on this I one. I did not. Dad wins 9 to 26. Oh. So now let's get to what we think. Okay, Megan, I guess I'll let you go first if you would like since you lost. Yeah. Lost one of your favorite games. I, it's okay. That doesn't change the fact that I still love this game so much. Um... I love silver, I love silver bullet, and I really like silver coin. This is a very fun game. Um, I love everything that, that, that this game adds. Um, okay. Yeah, I'm just moving it so that's in frame. <laughs> um, I love all the new cards. I love that you can always mix and match the decks, um, which we need to actually try that at some point because I want to throw some different cards in and see what we can do. Um, but I do like, as you said, um, at the start, you know, this one's all about your face-up ability. So that is kind of what's special about this one. And then flipping the coin so you can um, do, like, a face-up card is really cool. Well, I just, this just occurred to me, you know, flipping a coin, other yes. than the fact that that's the coin's ability, you flip a coin and yes. you're flipping cards face-up. Yes. Not just I, I the picked coin. that up before I picked up that it was heads and tails, so... <laughs> um. No, I don't know. I, I really love this game. I love the artwork. I love that every like character is very unique. They all kind of have their own little style. Um, and I don't know. I think it's really cool. I love silver. This may be actually my favorite version so yeah, far. Yeah, it's pretty good. Um, because I I think there's a lot of lot more things that you can do. Mm -hmm. The combos seem to to be more in play here because you're flipping a card face up and you're doing something else where you either you know with one you get another turn. Two, you get to basically turn a card and mm -hmm. then you get to kill it on another turn. Um, you got your assassinate cards. You got some cards that are very similar, you know, like um, the Village Idiot lets you, let you uh, swap a card. Mm -hmm. Like I said before, in a two-player game, that's just us going back and forth. Yeah. But in a three- or four-player game, that has huge implications, and I mm -hmm. think that would be really cool. I, I'm looking forward to getting this with my lunch group yeah. uh, and having that uh, play out just to, so I can kind of see how that really works um the artwork i think is really cool mm -hmm. uh again you know it's all you know the werewolf theme yeah but, uh, but and we also, actually have the werewolf card it's very the wolf man yeah it's very mythical mystical just kind of fun and goofy sometimes too with like the blob that would not be a card i would think that would be in here but it's just kind of cool that you have a blob character i don't know i think it's cool i love that all the cards are very unique yeah, the like I said, the artwork is cool. Mm -hmm. the The coin itself, this is a nice, hefty coin. You mentioned that it's got heft to it. It does. If um, you toss that to your witcher, you might concuss him. Yeah, you would. It's um, got some weight. But yeah, it's this is really cool. Um, and like Megan said, you can mix and match this with other versions of silver. Yeah. Uh, we do know that there is another version, the next one that's coming out, which you know you had amulet, you had bullet, you've mm -hmm. got coin. Guess what? It's probably going to begin with a D. 
Oh. But we don't know exactly what it is, but we do know that they the Bezier is working on that. I didn't pick up on that. That's yeah. alphabetical. That's smart. So, dude, they can make so many silvers. A oh, yeah. through Z. Yeah. Dude, I want every single one. I love silver. This is like, it's definitely one of my favorite games. It's definitely probably one of my favorite like card games. Yeah, well... And you're a lot better at the memory portion of it than I am as, you know, yeah. I screwed up. And, I mean, we've, we got this uh, actually, what, last week, I think? Yeah. And we haven't been able to talk about it until oh, today no. because this is, this is posting on the day it is actually announced. Yes. Um, but you just got home from break. And, I was and like, you're you like, play it. we don't want to play it. Like, so we, we played it. Play it. Played it last night. We played it this morning. Oh, uh, we've been so we've been the heck out of it. Yeah, playing a lot of it. I, um, I love it. I mean, especially in two player, it's a very fast game to get through four rounds. Um, we even played like two games back to back, and I was like, "Wait, why do I have to give up my coin? I just won." And I was like, "Oh, it was game four, out of like the first one, and we rolled right into the next one." But I don't know. It's pretty good. Well, I I love it. I well, and all, all of the games we played, we were tied as far as wins and losses yeah. until now. Now. So now I'm I'm yeah. officially ahead by one. It's fine. We'll play again and I'll I'll beat you. It's fine. And like the other versions, it does come with four reference, uh, reference cards. cards. Uh, they're the same front and back. Yeah, this one's just kind of a tan color. Yeah. The other one I think was like purple. Um, rule book's about the same. The only thing I really kind of had an issue with is that um, I wish this was brighter. It was a little it harder was a to little read. Hard. Yeah. Um, the and I know they're kind of going colors. with the brownish there. Uh, but I wish that that would have been a little bit brighter. That's really my only Quibble. criticism. Yeah. yeah. Um, um, I really enjoy the, um, the reference card guide. Um, some of the wording, I feel like for me, I kind of have to read it a couple times to make sure I actually know what I'm doing. Um, but I do like that it goes more in depth on what the actual card ability is, like when you're learning it. Um, I use this a lot. And then, like, obviously, I don't really have to look at it unless I, like, maybe question something. But, like, the, the ability on the card is actually pretty well spelled out, I think. But I really enjoy this little handy-dandy guide. Yeah, and then, like I said, the insert is the same as what we have in the other ones. Mm -hmm. There is a piece of foam underneath there because if you have sleeve cards, you basically want to take this out. Um, and then remove the foam just because they're gonna they're gonna stick up a little higher on the box. That's yeah. how I figured out we had foam underneath. So there, I read there the box. And then of course you got the little emblem mm -hmm. on the on the side of the box. There's the heads. There's, There's the tails. tails. Yep. So no, all in all, like I said, this is my favorite version of silver. I enjoy silver. It's I very love fast. Silver. The only problem I have is my memory, and that's well, that's just, just a you me. problem. <laughs> that is a me problem. That's not anything against the game. That's just you. Yeah. So. Uh, in fact, if you have not picked up any silvers and you've been interested, I'd pick this one up. Yeah, it's pretty um, good. And if you have the other silvers, I'd pick this one up. Honestly, if you have the other silvers, buy this one. But, like, regardless, buy silver. This is a great game. Yeah. And I it's, cannot, like, praise this game enough. I and, love it. And the abilities that they have, you know, with mix and matching the, the different it's sets. So cool. um, down at the bottom, if you uh, do mix and match those, mm -hmm. you have your little emblem for which uh, set yeah. this is from. So you can see... There's the coin. It's always there. the emblem of whatever, yeah. like, the actual really item is. Because well, this one is the coin, the other one was the bullet, the other one was the amulet. So, like, yeah. it's always on the bottom. But, yeah. yeah, and then also in the uh, in the insert, you've got your little uh, place to put your coin, and then that just closes. Yeah. Snaps close like that. Keeps so, it's going to keep it from, from popping up. Um, you got your spot for your score pad. You get a lot. Uh, and they're double-sided. So your score pad fits in there nicely. If you don't want to sort your cards out, then there is plenty of room that you can just place the cards right here in Not this wrong. spot, and they'll stay like that. Mm -hmm. However, if you want to, you have your individual slots here that you can sort them out, mm -hmm. uh, so that if you do want to mix and match, it's real easy to pick out which ones that you want to do. Yep. Um, and now that there's three sets, there's you know I, there's a lot of variability that you're going to have when you play. Uh, so replayability is through the roof on this, especially mm -hmm. as they keep kind of coming out with more sets. I don't know any more past the next one. Uh, I'll talk to my buddy Ted the next time I see him, uh, Ted Allspock, who, exactly. yeah. So, uh, that's about all I can say about it. It's really good game, really fun. It's it. lightweight. It's for the family. Um, just, you know, people that have memory mm -hmm. issues like me, uh, we're going to struggle. Uh, but it's still a lot of fun. It is a lot of fun. So highly recommend Silver Coin. Yes. So we will catch you guys next time. Bye.
If you would like to support us, you can visit patreon.com slash dadvdaughter. Like and follow us on Facebook to stay current on our show schedule, sneak peeks at future shows, and to interact with us.